what's up? My name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another weekly video of the Muscle Functions video series. So over the past few weeks I've discussed the quadricep muscles. Now quadriceps meaning four muscles. Now I would like to discuss the fourth muscle. However, I'm going to have to consider cheating or changing up the game a little bit because three of the muscles are superficial. However, one is not. One is deep and it lies behind the rest of them. So I will be cheating this week um, and discussing a deep muscle rather than a superficial muscle. So we have went over the rectus femoris, the vastus medialis, and the vastus lateralis. This week I'm going to go over the vastus intermedius. So I will go over the origin, insertion, functions, and exercises of this muscle as I did for the superficial muscles. So let's start off discussing um, where this muscle is, then I will show you. So the vastus intermedius originates on the upper two-thirds of the femur, okay? And then it just goes right into, or I'm, excuse me, onto the patella, so this is where it inserts on the upper portion of the patella into the patella tendon and then to the tibial tuberosity. So we're looking pretty much right in front of the femur. That is where this muscle lies. So it's pretty much right behind the rectus femoris. Okay. So where this muscle is again is on the upper two thirds of the femur. So we're looking in this area. Okay, and then it inserts right onto that patella, which is your kneecap on the upper portion, through the patella tendon, which is that band right underneath your kneecap. Okay, right in here, and then to the tibial tuberosity, which is that bony portion right here. Okay, now that I have discussed where it is and I have shown you where it is, and remember, this lies right behind the rectus femoris, so it is a deep muscle. Okay, so I will go over the actions, and then I will give you some exercises for this muscle. Okay, so the action of this muscle, it solely does knee extension, and that is along with the other two vasti muscles. Okay, so as far as the exercise muscle, excuse me, as far as the exercises go, you're looking at the same exercises as the previous two videos. You're looking at lunges, squats, deadlifts, um, just sitting knee extensions. Anything that gets that knee straight rather than bent is going to work the vasti muscles and the rectus femoris muscle. Okay, so again, knee extension is just straightening out your leg. Okay? Now, a trick so to speak, to the game. If you want to work just the three vast thigh muscles and kind of cancel out that rectus femoris, you won't cancel it out completely, but you can cancel it out for the most part, is to go ahead and hip flex or hip flexion. Okay, so you're gonna bend at the hip or flex at the hip, and this cancels out the rectus femoris. Okay, kinda. You'll get a very little uh, work from the rectus femoris in this position okay so whenever you do knee extension with hip flexion you're really just working those vasti muscles and again that's the vastus lateralis vastus medialis and vastus intermedius okay so in order to work just those three vasti muscles you would need to incorporate hip flexion so um, those knee extensions on the knee extension machine will work mostly the vast thigh muscles because your rectus femoris is concentrating on that hip flexion. It's, it's the all or none theory, um, if you guys are familiar with that. If not, that's fine. Um, just, I guess, take my word for it. Uh, something that I learned in college. But again, I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you're able to incorporate this and kind of change up your game a little bit in your training. So have fun with it and enjoy. Thanks everyone for watching.